Lisa Hart has asked us to create a video and give her ideas on her new virtual assistant business. Congratulations, Lisa. It is my job to give her ideas. I hope you're going to enjoy these ideas and run with any of them. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to share, Lisa. There are four ideas that we're going to be sharing with you. The first one looks like this. And the second one has a heart. I mean, your Lisa heart. And then the third one is a different kind of a mock-up that I want you to see. But with the same idea, looking at the office lookalike and the building just looks very cool and fancy. And then the third one looks like this with a Lisa heart. And then the fourth one looks like this with a beautiful font that we found on Canva. So let's jump in and give Lisa the ideas. Canva.com and open a blank canvas that you want to work with. Let's start by adding a rectangle. So you're going to go to your elements and click see all and search for a rectangle. Lisa, I feel like your brand is a bright blue, colorful blue that's giving life. So I could be wrong, you didn't give me a lot of information. So I'm gonna go with picking a shape that looks like that. Next, I'm going to add a rectangle. So you press R for rectangle and you add your square. And with your square, we're going to change this and make it white. And then we're gonna start designing on our triangle. Rotate your square and start creating gaps on your triangle. So I'm gonna start aligning it and I'm creating a an L. Oh my word, alignment is so important when you're designing. And then I'm going to duplicate this shape to create my L. So I'm going to rotate that. And then I'm going to grab this and duplicate that. Add it to the bottom of the page. And then duplicate that. Add it to the bottom of the page and align it to the other L. I just like that blue. So there's your L and there's your H. And as quick and easy as that, you've got a gorgeous design for LH. So we're going to press T for text and add text for Lisa Hart. And there's your number one. So we're gonna add an extra page and do our second design. I'm a super fan of fonts on Canva. We're gonna press T for text to add Lisa Hart as our main character for the design. And then we're gonna go to our fonts and we're gonna search for a 10 rosebud. This font, it is a paid font, but it is beautiful. And look at the shapes of this font. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to use our fonts color that we've used in the previous design. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to use that blue. And then we're going to press T for text and add the name. And then we're going to add a line. In between those two make it a darker blue and then no rounded points and make it like a square shape and a darker blue there's your number two Lisa Hart virtual assistant. Get an extra page for our next one and then press T for text. Change the font and go to Majesty. There's a beautiful font called Majesty. Create an L with our Majesty and increase the size and make it like a 250 and then change the color to our nice green that we're using over here. And then we're going to duplicate this L and make a heart for Lisa Heart and then align them on top of each other so that they are aligned like this. Next, we're going to go and look for these circles. So you're going to type circle 
and then go and look for these nice green circles i loved this one that's called circle frame illustration so i'm going to click on it once and then rotate it so that at the bottom of the page or at the bottom of the l where there's gaps i'm gonna then add my circle over there just enlarge it a little bit next we're going to press t for text so that we add the name of the company so we're going to use our nice hammersmith font and we're going to change the color and make it that nice green we're using and type virtual assistant and then we're going to move it once you're done you're going to go to effects and you're going to scroll down to background and change the background to make it white so you're going to scroll down and change the color and make it white and then uh we don't want roundness so we're going to make it square completely zero and then we're going to curve the virtual assistant the other way around so we're going to twist it and curve it the other way around the curve then becomes this way and then you move it to make it on top of your design our last design i'm feeling very architectural so we're going to press t for text and then change the the size and make it nice and big so let's go and type the letter l and make this like 230 we'll see if we can make that bigger but the font that i'm going for is blanca so you're gonna go to your font and you're gonna select blanca you can even make this a little bit more bigger and then you're going to duplicate this and type your h like this and then you're going to change the color we're going with our nice blue lisa you must tell me if i'm way off with my blue <laughs> but anyway then i want us to press r for rectangle so we can have a square shape and then we can design this logo of ours i want to get rid of this section at the bottom of the edge so that we have a nice gap that we can slide in the for our architectural design so move that square of yours on top of the h so let's quickly just position it so that it's front and then align it so that it covers the whole h all the way up until it touches the h on the other side and then change the color and make that white like that so you can Highlight and group the shape as well as the the edge so that we can slide that next to our L. And we bring the position of our L to front. Like that. Very architectural. Then go to your elements and scroll down to go find a heart. We are designing a Lisa heart. We must have a heart somewhere on our design. And then change the color and make it a nice red and then press t for text to add the last name of the business we've been using the hammersmith font which is very nice and roundish hammersmith one and add it to the side so that it looks like lisa hat virtual assistant and you can group everything and then you can download it as a 2d and you can go to remove.bg to take off the background as well as the extra whites we've added on there so the last step is for us to use any of this design of ours to change it to a 3d using photo p so we can use any of these i love the one in the fifth actually i love all of them lisa on the comments below let us know which one is your favorite i know my favorite so you are gonna go share and then you will download it great stuff so what you would do you would access www.remove.bg and then you can upload the designs to the software to take off the whites as well as the background we click on download and to the last step, which is my favorite, we jump to www.photop.com and we're going to be using templates on Photop. You can download your own templates from unblast.com or freepick.com. It's up to you. I just find it easy to access templates 
and then pick any of these templates that I would like to use for our virtual business. You can use this black wall and you click on the link. Once it has opened like this, you're going to double click where it says your logo here and then you're going to hide the example and then you're going to click and drag the design that you've created. Size it and make it as big as possible. As you've seen with the example we saw from the designer. Align it and press Command S or Control S to change it to Smart Object and you click on the first tab to have it converted to a 3D design like this. Stunning. I absolutely love it. Then you're going to click on File, Export as whichever format that you want. I'm going to go with PNG and then I'm going to click on Save. It was fun coming up with these ideas. Lisa, let us know in the comments below which one you enjoyed. I'm so grateful you joined me today. If you want more videos like this or if you want to attend a course just for Canva logo design, go to learnwithza.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a place for logo and a playlist for photo P. You can jump on there. I'll see you on the next video.